It is no secret that maize, and by extension ugali, is the most important food in Kenya. Sitting pretty at the top of the food chain, Kenyans have given maize a somewhat godly status such that any shock to maize production has a serious impact on the country's food situation. The country has been experiencing tough times since last year for two reasons. One is drought and the second and even more serious is the fall armyworm. The actual amount of maize loss to the pest is still not known, but government estimates put it at 11% of the maize growing acreage, with more than 250,000 hectares of land in the various food baskets affected. Since the outbreak was first reported in the country last year, various methods of control have been tried, mostly using pesticides. And now scientists at the International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology say that they may have found a solution to the pest that requires no use of pesticides at all. Africa has several uh, armyworm species already prevalent and these armyworm species has a whole range of natural means available. So the quick win is to see if these natural means establish on fall armyworm. And in this regard uh, our uh, um, assays uh, has given some promising results like uh, one of the uh, parasitoid that we found on uh, yet another army worm uh, is found to parasitize fall army worm even up to 65 percent in the lab. We also wanted to look at if this parasitoid is parasitizing the pest in the field. Uh, even at this stage, early stage of invasion, we are getting up to uh, 6 to 10 percent parasitism in the field. This research basically involves finding insects that eat or destroy the fall army worm and the team has found such insects. These are the indigenous uh, natural maize which had been parasitizing several uh, army worm species in Africa. Now we are finding that these can also parasitize fall army worm. The most promising among the natural, indigenous natural maize which you are seeing is uh, Cotisia ACP, uh, followed by Charops atta. We are also trying to see if we can bring in, introduce natural maize from the uh, region of origin. Uh, which can come in and establish and try to help us in controlling the fall armyworm. Both of these are larval parasitoids, larval parasitoids in the sense uh, if you when the parasitoid emerges out it starts searching for the larvae of the caterpillar and when it finds the right stage of the caterpillar it, uh, it injects the caterpillar with its egg. So the young one of this insect starts growing within the fall armyworm larvae and at the end of the day the fall armyworm does not emerge. The other method would be to find an insect that attacks the eggs of the fall armyworm. So it has no effect at all on the crop itself? No, no, absolutely not. These are highly specific ones and there are no effects on the crop and no effects on any other organism uh, apart from some of the closely related insect species. There's also no concern that they might maybe mutate into something else or no. they might become an invasive species? Definitely not. Besides using insects to control the pest, ECP is also using Bacillus thrombogenesis bacteria to find disease-causing mechanisms that will kill the fall armyworm if fed on. Fall armyworms are a new pest in Africa but have existed in the Americas for centuries but haven't caused such widespread destruction in the countries of origin as they have in Africa. So as part of the research, the team examines the agricultural systems in the Americas and what makes them withstand the pest and how those systems can be used to build Africa's resistance. In the process of the research, the scientists discovered that the push-pull technology, which involves the intercropping of cereal crops with desmodium type of legumes, was up to 80 percent effective in the fall armyworm control. So the intention here is to combine the result in the lab with the push-pull system to achieve 100 percent control. Farmers in southern Africa even experimented with neem to find control measure and ECP is optimistic that its findings will go a long way in saving Africa's maize production. Zainab Wandati NTV for Food Friday.